Yo, how's it going, guys? It's your boy Dank Lord Only. I'm here with my submarine, bro. Or should I say my Dank Marine? This is what I'm gonna name this thing, yo. This thing is gonna be called the Dank Marine. I think that's a really cool name. Someone told me I can attach this to my base, like actually attach it. However, you know what the plan for the base is, guys. We're gonna wait until we get the multi-purpose room or find it somewhere, and then we're gonna redo this whole base. And I don't really want to move out of this area. My friend Voodoo was telling me, you should build your base somewhere else, yo. But you know what? I like this area. This area is nice. It's easy to kill things. Like when I need water, I just come like to drink. I just come here and there's always plenty of those fish. There's none here right now. Oh, there's one there. See, there's, there's a bunch of these things around. So yeah, I kind of like the location of my base. People might say that I'm a noob for that, but I literally am a noob, so they're they're right in saying that, I guess. But yeah, who knows? Maybe later on we make it in like some scary place. I don't know why you'd want to though, because is that really a good idea? Because like they have all those scary stuff down there: bone sharks, sand sharks, leviathans. This place is just fine, yo. In this one, guys, what we're gonna be doing right is. Just focusing on finishing up on these quests. Right now we have to find Life Pod 7. It's like southwest somewhere 200 meters down. Holy bro. Did it get this scary this quickly? Like we're already getting into some scary territory here. But anyway. They're like somewhere down here bro. Oh I actually haven't been down to this area guys. Like I've seen it but I was... My hull integrity was always low. But now we're literally all the way down here. Might as well grab some stuff while we're here. Oh shit, it's burning. But you know what I say, no pain, no gain, guys. Flipping hell. Volcanic stuff here. Good thing that doesn't actually hurt me too much. Going deeper into this area, bro. Can't go too deep, though. Max is 300, so let's chill out a bit. See if there's anything here. What is this? Need to destroy the ecosystem, guys. Membrane tree. Yo, I just found some weird area here, bro. And it's quite creepy, I'll be honest. Need to watch my hull integrity, guys. Oh, it leads back to this area. So I just found this area here. It's in... Uh, I don't know where it is to be honest, but uh, we're gonna cut this open and see what's inside. Bruv, there's another sealed door. What the hell? Alright, so we're inside. We already got that. A data box here. Uh, very nice, thank you for that. I don't know what that was. Oh, something here. Bro, I'll be honest, exploring this part is like the worst thing ever. But we're gonna do it anyway because we're stupid. Flip. Oh, it seems you can go out from there. But yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh, wait, something here. Flipping PDA, bro. Got something here, guys. What is this? Cyclops depth module. That's nice. Oh my days, bro. What? Flips hitting my ship, bro. Stupid bone sharks. Anyways, we did find life pod 17, bro. But we need to repair our flipping thing, bro. Let's repair this quickly before anything else eats it. Hurry up, get repaired. Repair tool is amazing, bro. 99%, 100, there we go. Here's life pod 7. Not sure what they're doing out here, guys. But they are dead. That's all we know. I just, I'm not gonna pick that stuff up. It doesn't even seem useful. Holy bro, they got a cow, they got a pen, a cap, the flip, Markiplier. This is actually Markiplier, right? Yo, they got a Markiplier dummy in Subnoica, LifePod 7. Like, yo, that's actually him. An unusual doll. That's what they're calling him. Bro, hopefully there's no Leviathans in this area. Please just get me to safe waters. Please, we're so far out. 
Alright guys, there weren't any messages playing, but uh, I wanted to flip and explore a little bit. Now I don't know, I went in the opposite direction of the Leviathan, I think they hang around near the Aurora, so I went in the opposite direction. I'm kind of venturing out to see what other adventures await us guys, you know what I'm saying? So, the game's all about adventure, like, look at this cave. What's inside this cave, yo? They got some of those breathable things. Nothing too crazy. Just the way I like it. Because it's nice to just swim around this area. You know? Kind of see the whole environment. See what's going on. A huge bottom dwelling life form in this area. Oh, right, because it's like a big tunnel type system. Warning. Maximum depth oh, reached. no. Damage imminent. Can just about. Like. Oh, that was an accident. So they're telling us that there's potentially something huge burrowing around this place here. Let's explore this, yo. Oh, yeah, that can't take the maximum death, but I can. I'm just that OP, guys. Kind of interested to see what we can find under here. Okay, I see moths there. Let's not forget that. I wonder if there's any interesting loot around here. Lithium, special material required there. Violent blue. Deep sea shrooms. You know what? This is quite far away. We'll pick up a couple of those. They're not like the acid mushrooms. Those you can find anywhere. But here it's kind of hard to get that stuff, you know? They have some salt deposit down here. Interesting. The flip is that? Yo, look at this thing. A sea treader. What the hell are you guys doing at the bottom here? That is crazy, yo. Oh, they look sick. You guys treading the sea down here, bro. So, look at all this open space. Look, more sea treaders here. Some nice friendly guys. I have no clue what area this is. Got some whirlpool there. Oh, you know what? I know what that is. I don't like that. Let's see if there's anything down here. Okay, how deep are we going, yo? We need to be careful. Let's just see how deep we can go. Okay, you know what? That's too deep. That's, that is too deep. I can't even see anything. Ecological dead zone? Oh, someone commented about that, actually. So that's the ecological dead zone. If I could get my Seamobile a bit closer, I'd, I'd love to explore that, bro. What is this? It looks a bit different. Nuclear reactor fragment. I think we have this, though. Oh, now... Oh, what the flip? Yo, man. That is not cool. If you wanted smoke, you could just say that. Yeah? Come. Look at this guy running away. Like the fish he is. Come face me like a man. Or a fish. See, guys, don't, don't give in to this, these uh, stupid creatures. They think... They're so cool with their telekinesis and technology, but realistically, they're just scared. As soon as I pull out this thing, it's game over for them. Got something here, yo. Prawn suit, poultry and arm fragment. Oh, you can add this to your prawn suit. That is neat. Anything here? Another prawn suit fragment there. 
Watch this, guys. You think you're the king? I'm the king, bro. Come back. I got this med kit on me. That'll keep me up to health, you know? Don't even try, bro. Don't even try it. Get my damn C-Mobile. See how fast we can kill a stalker now, yo. Yo, stalker, come here. Get stalked, my guy. Oh, this guy is running away, yo. You like that? A day stalk us. Where's he gone? Where the hell did he go? Did he go up? Oh, I thought that was a stalk for a second. We're too OP with this knife, guys. Alright, yo. New plan. Where's the Aurora? Aurora's there, right? We know there's Leviathans chilling out in that area. What if we go down this way and just see how far we can go? What's the worst that could happen, right? Oh, I remember this one. I couldn't come here because of the sealed door. Well, guess what, bro? We can flip and come here now, can't we? Bro, we just opened one door and there's a flip another sealed door. That is crazy. We don't even have that much power left in this thing. This takes a lot of power. There we go. Well, we got some supply crates, water. I mean, it's all right. It's not really the best thing right now. Oh, yo, I need that, a battery charger fragment. That is actually game changing, bro. Oh, we just need one more. Some water, PDA, give me that. Very nice. Propulsion, we have that already. Modification station, this is what I needed, yo. Okay, anything else, bro, please. Give me one more. Th oh, there we go, the battery charger. 30 seconds of oxygen left. Oh, we flipping go, bro. Is that propulsion cannon? Yeah, we already have that. But yo, flipping propulsion uh, battery charger. Finally, I got so many empty batteries here that I need to recharge. I can flip and do that, yo. Alright, let's put this right here. A flipping battery charger, because I need this, bro. Look at that. And if I come here, I should have empty batteries here. Okay, those are full batteries. This one has the empty batteries. Yeah, look at that. Two, three, four. Should be able to put four inside here. Oh, there it is, yo. One, two... Three, four, and they're charging now. That is that. That's so sick. Yo, look at this, guys. It's literally charging all my batteries. I just swapped out all these, and now I've got fresh new batteries, bro. And I can even like carry a good battery or two on me. You know, let me be a bit cheeky and carry two batteries, just because I can. But it is taking a lot of power out. And it's night time as well, so you need to find a way to deal with that, bro. Alright, so I think this, this might need a flipping multi-purpose room because this doesn't fit anywhere. I wonder if I can fit this up here. Can I put this outside here? No. Need a way to skip the night. Hurry up and become day, bro. Yo. I remember seeing this before, guys. But, um... I didn't go inside it before because there was that weird mermaid thing here but now I'm not scared of it and I'm actually pretty intrigued to see what this area is like what is this yo a jelly shroom what the hell did that give us jelly shroom spore yeah that is crazy bro yeah like we got 300 depth on this thing so we can actually go a bit lower Yo, what the flip? Yo, what the flip is that? Is that hostile? It looks hostile, yo. Oh, it is. I need to drink. Got a lot of water. Okay. Okay, he's going back inside there. Hopefully he stays there. But look what we have here, yo. Got some stuff here. 
can't go inside that way. Alright, bro. Just let me in. How did these jellyfish get in and I can't even get in? That is wild, yo. Oh, look up here. I need to get rid of these things. Alright, guess I can't get rid of them. What is this? This area, bro. Abandoned PDA. There's a bear starfish here. Can I pick this up? I can't pick that up. What do these guys have here? There's like a little mini base here. Data box here. What's this? That's nothing. Oh shit, look at this thing, bro. Anything else in this room? Nope. What about up there? Okay, where's my... Where's my ship gone? There it is. Oh, bro, no way this guy is flipping attacking my ship. I just got my HP back. Stupid. Stupid. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a flipping leech or something. Okay, put that back down there. We need to have a quick snack, yo. No fish here. Oh my god, you're so annoying. You need to die, bro. I want to see what's at the top. Got a PDA here, bro. Give me that. I'm going to leave my Seamoth there for now. Let me just get some oxygen back. Why not? Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't think he can see us from down here. Oh shit, he can. It's so annoying. Oh! God, what was that? Stupid thing, bro. Okay, that part's dangerous. Don't want to go there. But I could use a snack, so come here, please. Oh, that guy's quick. What is this? Oh, Magnite. Or whatever that's called. I needed that. I need me some of that, yo. Come here. You have been sacrificed. What is that? A cooked Oculus. Is this just regular ore? Or shale? Got some good old gold. Magnite? Give me that. When you find rare resources, guys, you have to collect as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? Got some down here as well. Oh, that stupid fish is in there. I need to kill that thing, yo. Somehow. Ooh, let's go diamond. Love me some diamond. Flipping stupid eel, bro. Yo, shit. This is a multi-purpose room. You can just scan this. Oh, why is it taking so long, bro? I have to scan this three times. With a flipping eel up my ass. And it's coming as well. Oh, you just... Oh my god, get off me, get off me. Get off me, stupid idiot. That's it. Oh my days, I'm dead. He actually killed me, bruv. I'm doing some dangerous stuff, guys. Trust me, don't do what I'm doing. Alright, you guys probably aren't doing that, but you know. Oh, this is there's a lot of shale here, you know. I'm getting a lot of diamonds. Give me that. Inventory's full. Alright, you know what? Let's get out of here. Yo, there's... There's quite a few of them down there. Let's do a quick scan, yo. Guys, I come in peace, okay? You have enough fish to eat. You can leave me alone. I'm literally just a ship. Why would you want to eat a ship? Bro, look at this one. My guy is just chilling here, yo. What the flip, guys? Look at him. Oh, he's not even existing. Okay, this is the inside of this uh, flipping thing, yo. That is gross. Look at this guy's face. It's probably glitched out or something. Damn, that is so weird. Bro is hibernating or something, I don't know. Oh my days, get off that, get off that. Get off that. Oh shit. Let's get out of here, bro. Let's get out of here. Ain't worth dying. Nothing down there is worth dying for. Alright, guys. We're back at our base, yeah? And now that we have the multi-purpose room, 
I think we'll... Oh. It's hard to navigate in the dark, guys. I think we're going to rearrange some stuff here. So, I'm going to wait till day and then we'll see how to do this, yo. Yo, man, we can actually make a flipping a large room. And I was in the mushroom, Bram. I could have crafted this if I scanned the observatory. I don't know why I didn't. But look, we can make a large room and a multi-purpose room. So, you know what I'm thinking, guys, yeah? If we, like, get rid of this stuff here, make a large room and a, and a multi-purpose room, I think that'd be really cool. But I need to, like, get rid of everything here first. Finally, yo. The multi-flipping purpose room. I've always wanted this, yo. Minus 1.3 to hull. Oh, holy, bro. Now... Okay, what should we do? Add this. We need three titaniums. You need to add, like... Uh, what's it called? Reinforcement, guys. Otherwise... This stuff will just break. So... Can I reinforce something here? Oh yeah, see, look, you can reinforce stuff. You can't reinforce here. I don't want to reinforce this stuff. I want that stuff to be usable. But I have to get rid of this stuff here. Oh, wait. You know what? We'll reinforce this one. I don't want any leaking happening, yo. Oh, plus seven to base. That is sick. Reinforcement is so sick, bruv. Now, I think I'll put these battery chargers inside here because they kind of block this alleyway here you know what i'm saying yo so we have one battery charger here and we'll have the other one i think just here should be fine let's put that down we don't need too many to be honest because even one's enough but i like having two by the side like this and here we put this one here is that too low no, that looks fine, yo. We just put battery here. And yo, I think we should put these posters right here, yo. Look at that, bruv. I think I've got a few more lying around somewhere. Yeah, look at these posters here. Keep these posters. Let's put them up. Oh, this one's a big one, yo. Oh, no, it's not big. Put one here. Oh, the Aurora, bruv. It is crazy. Put that one there. Let's see. Put this guy here. Look at that, bruv. It's already looking good. Got battery chargers here. This here. Looks good. Where should I put the radio? Hmm. Because I moved the radio. I want to put it somewhere. Somewhere else. Let me just put the radio here. Why not? There you go. Radio there. And let's make a medical thing here. Um, nah, let's not put the medical stuff there. I'm going to put a, like a medical part here. I think that's going to be nice. Look at this, yo. Everything's coming along, guys. Trust me. And then we can put a storage here. Where is it? Large room partition door. Bro, I didn't even know about this. Oh, yeah, I was meant to make this. A uh, bioreactor. I could fit that in one of these. But maybe I build out this way, right? With another large room. And it, it's the bioreactor room, bro. This should be fine, yo. I added some more foundation down. Oh, Lord. Need more titanium. Anyways, look. I put this foundation down here, right? As you can see, guys. This is looking epic. Oh, my goodness, bro. This thing... This thing right here is massive. What the hell? I, I need this. I literally need this, guys. Alright, guys. Check this out, yeah? You come here. Nothing Welcome inside here, bro. This is all moved. Look, I put this all here, right? Because I'm going to get rid of this section. And then I'm going to like have a multi-purpose room here. There's got to be a bioreactor here. Reacting to stuff, you know? And then... And then we'll see what happens. I'll have to do a lot of moving around, guys. See you later, moon pool. I'll see you soon. Don't worry, bro. I'm just out here trying to fix some stuff up. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I can't make this connect for some reason. I think it's because it's too low, right? And when you get here, when I want to put down here, this intervenes. 
But this here, can you see right here? This is the edge that's giving me trouble. But what I realized is, guys, I might as well make this here. And then just make those two areas going out from either side. I think it should be fine this way as well. And then we can connect our moon pool out this way maybe. You know what I'm saying? There it is, yo. Alright, let's see what it looks like inside. Oh my days. Guys, look. Look at this. This is large room, bruv. I can't even jump in here. Bro, this is going to be so sick. I'll have all my stuff lined up like this. Yeah. Oh, I, I have to get right to it, yo. Alright, guys. I'll be honest. I've been doing this for literally so long. I, I lost track of time. Let me just show you what my new base looks like, guys. Look at this, bro. This took me so long to do. Let me just show you the outsides of it first yeah got some standard stuff here got multi-purpose rooms and i realized the more of these you do right the more charge it collects altogether. i also put some floodlights down and this is one of the entrance i'll show you guys that soon and got floodlights here another multi-purpose room there this big thing and this fits so nicely together Got my sea mobile down there, bro. So let me show you this entrance here, guys. This took me so flipping long. Are you guys ready? Because I ain't. Look at this. So if you come here, I got my titanium and titanium ingot there. Lead, quartz, fabricator here. I'll show you that room in a second. Nickel, copper, silver, gold, diamond, ruby. Because they're all like the same kind of rocks, like under jewelry or something. Now I left a little space for magnite or whatever that word is. Lithium, gas pods. These are going to be very interesting soon, guys. Trust me. And this is an actual random thing I have. It's like uh, stuff I don't know yet, like benzene and uranite crystal, whatever that is. While I'm here, let me just show you this room. This room was meant to be the bioreactor thing. We'll craft that soon, don't worry. Got this part of the room here. This is where my sea moth is. As you can see. As you can see, moth. Ha! <laughs> Anyways, so that's there. Oh, bro, it fit together so nicely. I like how there's a, like, a little corridor section there. And then I got my creep off here, because I had nowhere else to put it. And then I've got my little room here yo it even says my name there bro dank and i decorated it with all these collectibles got a markiplier here apparently you can use that but yeah markiplier is there some collectibles my car aurora added the desk just for design and these bags as well i felt like they add some life to the game because obviously this is my packing and stuff aurora here poster you know inside here, yeah, I got like equipment and stuff. Just leave that in there. I added this chair here, guys. So you can actually... Oh, there's not enough space to sit, but don't worry, that's just for decoration. And I added these. Finally found a use for them. Looks nice for decoration. Guys, just look at this part of my room. I'm so proud of it, man. It actually looks so good. Got some eggs here. Some random eggs. Seeds. Seeth. These are seeth guys. Stalker tooth or stalker teeth. I just call it steeth. I think that's pretty clever. Oh yeah, I'm a clever guy. And then I got the deep mushrooms in here. And acid mushrooms in here. And some coral stuff here, guys. So you see this? This if just look at it here for a second. And yeah, the integrity is fine, don't worry. I added reinforced hull and some foundations but just looking through this bro i'm so happy like literally let me show you this area now actually let me show you how to get inside that area from the outside so you come this way right oh yeah look at these floodlights getting to work showing me you know what's out there not much because we're in a safe area but you come down here right so let's say you're collecting fish you're like 
Oh, I need water. Get that guy here. And then come here. And bam. Look. This is right here for you to make your water, bruv. My food section's there. So, I just put the extra water sources in there. I got my battery charger here. And, yo, battery charger is a game changer. I don't need to, but they look nice when you have to. Look at all these full batteries we have. And we can actually take these out as well, because they're full. And that will close up nicely. And I like having two batteries on me, so that's fine. You come this way, here's a med kit. Open it up, and just put it inside here. I keep two on me, so that's fine. I added two of these. And this is the radio station there. And then when you walk this way, this will be the bioreactor room. One second. A reliable power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Look at this, guys. A flipping bioreactor, bruv. It's crazy. How do I how do I use this thing? Use bioreactor to charge. You know what? How does it work? Let me let me try put one of these inside oh active oh yo look at that it fills up oh and we're actually gaining power and we're losing power because of the floodlights but it keeps it constant really sick how long does that last for I don't know anyway so that's the bioreactor room guys we finally made it come this way back into the main lobby and bro, I'm just so happy with this. And you know one thing I found out, right? Oh, we're getting quite a lot of power, you know? You can just sleep the night away. And when you wake up, right? This is a sick part. You just have full, like, uh, energy. See that? Energy. Oh, wait. Let me show you the Seamoth entrance. You come inside here, you're like, yo man, I need to get inside my Seamoth, go do a bit of exploring. And it drops you off in a nice area where you can just get out like this. And you look back and you think, damn, did I actually make this? This amazing base. It's so good, man. I'm so happy. I'm proud of myself. It took a lot of material and time. So I have to go farm that stuff, but when you play this game, man, I swear, a lot of the time just passes by. I like when you jump out, he's not looking that way, my guy is looking the right way, which is this way, and yeah, this is it. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know what you think of my new layout. Me, personally, I give this a 10 out of 10. But yeah, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.